and welcome, welcome to the Wild Guys podcast. And so, like I said, Tanya, thank you, thank you for being on with us today. I wanted to end this conversation off comfortably. I didn't want to feel rushed. And I appreciate I that. Getting back to the second segment will allow us to do so. So, two things. Uh, I want to uh, end off with a final question, and then in addition to that, I kind of uh, matter of fact, yeah, we can bring it back for this episode. Mark and I often did this within the first three seasons of the Wise Guys podcast, especially when we had on a guest called Word to the Wise, where you got a chance to pick one word that pretty much encompasses the entire duration of the conversation, and then you pretty much unpack it, you, you give your reasoning behind it, and you say why that word is vital to you know the guests and as well as the Wise community overall, the listeners who enjoy the show. So yeah. I'm letting you do that early now so you can start. Yeah. yeah. All right. And then I'm also going to share my word, which I already know what it is. Okay. Um, but before we get to the words of the wise, I wanted to ask you this question. Um, uh, are there, so what, 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 I wanted to end this off with the youth because I think the youth are very vital and they're important to uh, our future and as well as our future uh, socioeconomic, you know, just scale in society at large. Mm -hmm. um, investment programs or are you aware of any opportunities out there that are currently available to high school, college students that will prepare slash allow them uh, to learn as well as experience investing. And also, you could also answer this this way if you'd like. If not, what are some things you think they should get started on now to kind of build up that, that framework and that groundwork moving forward? Yeah, um, that is really good. Um, I think if we're talking about younger than 18, um, that's really going to have to come from their, their parents or their guardians. I, I don't know. I, it's, it's very few and far in between. Um, you will meet every now and again a young person that's kind of like a self-starter and, and will do that. But usually at that age, you know, your environment, the people that are like raising you and doing that, they're going to have to have some knowledge on, on what to do. I know the teachers are not going to do it, no shade. Um, so I would say, you know, 18 and younger, that's going to have to be something that the parents do. Like I know for me, you know, part of my, my goal as a parent is to just start so young, um, building up mindset, breaking paradigms, you know, showing my children how to, how to do affirmations, how to practice gratitude every single day, how to, um, you know, start critically thinking. I'm not just going to teach them ABCs, one, two, threes, and have them regurgitate it. Like, Let's talk about why, you know, why language is important, why the building blocks are important, things like that. Um, you know, setting up a, a, um, a portfolio, an investment portfolio for them, you know, getting, getting them to be innovative and not stifling their creativity at all so that when it comes time for a business idea, it's not just one that makes dollars and makes sense. It's one that they would do if they were never going to get paid for it. And if they have that type of passion behind it, they are never going to be broke a day in their life because they love what they're doing so much from young. You know, I'm not going to give them any ideas like, what do you want to be, right? When we're younger, what do you want to be? A doctor, a lawyer? Like, why, why are you even putting things out there? Like, let me say what I want to say, you know? And if I say something ridiculous, like I want to be, I want to work in the circus, somebody's going to be like, all right, what, what do you really want to do? And that's terrible. That's horrible, you know? Um, so that would be one thing I would say. Um, now if we're talking about like young adulthood into adulthood, there's so much opportunity out there. I've already, you know, kind of spoken on exactly what it, I didn't say exactly what it is, but, um, just know for whoever's watching, there is a specific way that you can start learning as a, as a novice, as someone that has no financial experience at all. There is a way to bridge that gap. If that is something that you find value in. You can, you know, connect with me, learn how to how to get your foot in that door so you can start making those those shifts. But I would say this, there's going to be opportunities presented to you all of the time, all day, every day. And, you know, you just have to learn how to have discernment to realize, OK, what really is for me, what sounds good and what's not for me. And the discernment is going to come in the form of like being able to block out other people's voices as well, making a, a decision that fits well with your spirit. Not saying, oh, ooh, I had a great conversation with this person, they told me about this thing, but let me go ask Aunt Sheila. Like, <laughs> no, right? Like, the, that discernment comes in the form of, like, what's best for me? What are some calculated risks that I can make? So um, opportunity comes all day, every day. 
Um, but if you continue to pass over every opportunity, right, um, then that's, that's the definition of poor. So passing over opportunities repeatedly, that's literally what poor stands for. So I know some people that people come to them with something and say, hey, I think you'd be a great fit for this. And they are just good. They are just comfortable. So like I said, those are going to be the people that are going to be at their job because we need people for that. Um, but otherwise, um, you know, I say from the age of 18 and plus there, you can start to, you can start to actually have a hand in your, um, finances and in everything else in life. And, um, there, there are ways to do it. Like I said, connect with me if you want a specific way, but you know, keep doing what you're doing. And I promise you something is going to come in your direction. You just have to have the discernment to know whether or not that's something that is really for you. Most well, certainly, most well, certainly. Wow. Well, I must be honest with you. Uh, today's episode of the Wise Guys podcast, in addition to this IG Live as a double feature, I think a wealth of gems were dropped, uh, courtesy of you and, 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 and everything it was. Likewise. You um, I truly, truly appreciated uh, having the chance to talk to you, sit down with you, and all of that. Um, but before we let you go, like I said, you know, I wanted to fast forward and head to our Word to the Wise segment uh, for today's episode. Um, I'm going to start first since you are, you, you are our guest and I kind of want to give you that time. Um, for me, my Word to the Wise uh, for today's episode of the Wise Guys, bringing it back because we don't do this anymore. This is not good with you. Um, my Word, believe it or not. If you are spiritual and, you know, I'm, I'm a Christian, so definitely scripture is very important to me. I'm going to say Proverbs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say Proverbs because Proverbs is the book of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And in addition to Proverbs, I'm not going to expound on, on it too much. You go look at Proverbs yourself. You will see exactly what I'm talking about. But Proverbs 18.22, right? Mm -hmm. A man leaves an inheritance for his children, children. And that pretty much mm -hmm. will explain everything it is that you need to know. Uh, I know Mark also, he loves that scripture too. I shared it with him. And that's something we often talk about. And that fuels me to continue to attain and build and eventually hopefully one day, um, you know, build that foundation and that wealth for my family. And last but not least, you know, uh, I think if you hold up to something like Proverbs and you read that book in general, there's so much wisdom in there uh, about life, about relationships, about women, about finances that can truly steer and guide you along the right way but for me proverbs it's a special word it's a poetic word i'm a poet so that's what i'm going to leave you all today with wise community book of proverbs check it out 1822 to be exact and if you forget dm me here on the wise guys nyc or you could dm me over at my personal page kevin on glad and how about yourself uh, tanya what is your word to the wise for today's episode i can't wait to hear it that's good. I, I just want to comment on what you said, because um, I'm very, I love scripture. I'm very spiritual. And I find scripture, you don't even have to be spiritual. If you don't even believe in God, pick up the Bible just for some practical life lessons and wisdom. Like, it's so funny, like a man should leave behind an inheritance, but people leave behind debt for their kids. That is so all dishonorable. Like, God yeah. gave us all this resource all these resources and we leave behind debt. That's terrible, horrible. But okay. Right. Um, Sheesh, my word. I have like a couple words in my mind. All right, I'm just going to go with. You can, you, can, you can cheat. You can use one or two. Sometimes we <laughs> cheat. That's it. Okay. I, I'm, I will go with work, right? Okay. I'll say the word work because, um, you know, it's, it's a verb. So it requires action. Um, a lot of us live more on the side of like be just be um and I mean that there is some truth to that too but if you are just just then you're gonna be like you know a cork in in the water just being kind of like thrown this way and that way um but if you work that means that there is some intention behind what you're doing that means that there is some sacrifice behind what it is that you're doing and work is in all aspects, all aspects. If we're talking about scripture and spirituality, again, you know, we're triune beings, right? God didn't just put us in his body. We have mind, body, and soul. And so you have to do work on every last part. You have to do the physical work, right? Even if you're not exercising, you got to work <laughs> to provide yourself with a meal so that you can be sustained from, you know, one, one day to the next. You have to work on your mind. You have to work on your spirit. You have to just 
do the work. Um, there's no way around it. There's no way around it. So um, I guess that would be my word, my word for the day. I know we talked a lot about mindset, um, but mindset even is work because how do you even shift your mindset? You have to listen to the audios. You have to read the books. You have to get the mentorship. You have to attract the mentorship. And that all is going to require work of some sort. Um, the other word I wanted to use was believe um, because I, I think I started it off by saying, you know, people don't really want money. They want freedom, but they don't know how to name that because it takes more gut to go after the freedom. And people just don't have the, the belief level <laughs> that they can actually do it. So that's what is going to, you know, deter them from, from actually deter I never know. Det deter, right? <laughs> that's what's going to deter them from uh, from actually uh, doing the work. That's going to get them to, to freedom. But um, I cheated. I did use two words, but uh, but I think that that would sum up, you know, really what we what we spoke about today, in my yeah, opinion. No. no, absolutely. I think that was excellent, 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 excellent. Thank you so much for coming onto the show today, for uh, sharing, expressing your thoughts. And for this very high level, profound, uh, you know, topic of conversation, I think it's very important. I think it's something that's needed. And obviously, like I told you before, this will be converted and regurgitated as an audio format podcast episode. I think there's there's so much gems in this that even when people listen to it down the line, whether they're, yeah. at, whether they're cleaning around the house or whether they're driving, right. you know, lock in, tap in and inherit a lot of great, you know, thoughts, ideas, and just, you know, just modes of practicality that they can implement in order to build their financial future. So on the behalf of the wise guys, I was going to say behalf of Mark and myself, you know, we're, you know, we're separate entities now, but uh -huh. on behalf of the wise guys, thank you for coming on today's show and uh, truly, truly appreciate you uh, for being here, for having this level of conversation and just for tapping in with us. So I don't know, we've been waiting uh, and planning to do this for like, shoot, I think even within the time frame of over a year now, I'm kind of happy, not kind of, I'm very happy that we got a chance to sit down and talk. It was an honor and a pleasure. So if you don't mind me asking you, where can people reach out to you in order to say tapped in and in order to continue to inherit, you know, these thoughts, these ideas and to follow you moving forward? If you would uh, please do so kind of share. Yeah, um, I would say the easiest way right now to get access to everything else that's gonna come is just my Instagram, my first name, last name, underscore. So Tanya Jermaine underscore. Um, it'll it'll be here, I, I guess, right tag me when you post this. Um, but that's the best way to access me. Um, we have website coming, but all of that is going to be, you know, shared through the IG platform. So that would be, that's the best way to, to stay connected with me. And I hope you guys do. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Please do, everyone. Please be sure to follow her. Uh, Tanya is someone who I uh, think is not only truly enlightened, but very kind, very generous, very warm. And, you know, just someone who truly does believe in valuing and, and bettering the lives of, of people, the society in general. She really cares. And anytime I'm, you know, tapped in and I'm, and I'm locked into her stories, I always find something, you know, that I can just grasp and gain value from. I mean, I think uh, the other day, or maybe it was last week, uh, you posted or you shared something on your story about um, I could be wrong with the numbers, but something about uh, something between the lines of like it had like a bunch of like statistical facts, and one of the facts read that you know about I think seventy five or eighty percent of Americans have less than a thousand dollars in their in their savings account. And when I saw that, I was like, man, how grotesque! Like that's really really sad. And I saw that on a Friday night, so I got I got even more depressed because like <laughs> Friday night are going to just go on a splurge, you know? And everybody's emotional. outside. But that's just, mm -hmm. that's just real, right? That's real life mm -hmm. and that's reality. So we need mm -hmm. more people in the space sharing, mm -hmm. enhancing, building, and, and and just going, you know, in a full, uh, you know, full onslaught of abundance with this type of information. So thank mm -hmm. you, thank you again so much. Uh, any other parting words or? Man, I could be here all day. Um, I, I really enjoyed this. This was great. Um, even for me, because I haven't done something like this in a little while. Um, so I appreciate you again for having me on. Um, I know you guys, I think you said this was, you were ending it or something like that. I don't know if that's this like our, public this information. This is going to be our last season. Yeah, because okay. you know, Mark and, and myself, we got so much things going on that 
we won't be able to lock in and focus the way we'd like to. So it only makes sense. But I you know, in, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um yeah. so I But we can still we can still collab and do other stuff in the future. Like absolutely. don't let that stop. Like that's I, I'm what still I, going that's to what be say. Yeah, like I'm still going to be active, obviously, with the wise guys. Um I'm turning it more so media based now. So like, you know, it's a space of inspiration. So like there will still be content put out on learning in terms of, you know, finance or whether it's like media and like the portrayal of you know, black men or women and mm -hmm. masculinity, femininity. So Good this space sense. will still be used for other things, but in the format of a so-called podcast, that's more so dying out. So yeah, so definitely there will be more collabs in the future and things to come. Like I'm not just gonna Got stop. It. It's just that the, the time and the the time and the diligence and the and the dedication it takes to work on a podcast, yeah. you know, with school and other things coming back up, you know, I, I just gotta kind of diversify time a little bit. So Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, as long as you know there's still Space to collab to create um i'm down and yeah thank you for having me on oh it was a pleasure it was a pleasure most certainly so to wrap up the show everyone the wise guys podcast as you know we are available on all streaming platforms apple Podcasts, stitcher tune in iheart radio google Podcasts, spotify all right and YouTube as well in this final closing uh, season with videos as well. So with that being said, please be sure to tap in with us. If you really truly love the show, please be sure to capture a screenshot and to share it on your IG stories. Share it with a friend and with a friend and with a friend, friend, friend. So that way they can also, you know, be in tune and gear with everything we're talking about and what we have going on. All right. And with that being said, we're going to close out this week's episode with another uh, guest next week. I'm not exactly sh too sure who it will be yet because I'm just picking up people left and right, but just know that whether male or female is going to be a good one. So as I said at the beginning of today's episode and as well as this IG Live, this is the man, Kevin Unglad, and we have been joined by our very, very, very lovely special guest. Oh, I'm supposed to say it. <laughs> Tanya <laughs> Jermaine. <laughs> that, that was so sweet <laughs> and you have been tuning into the wise guys podcast all right like always we'll see you next week peace and stay wise